Hi everyone, this is another training video brought to you by Core Group. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to perform a site calibration in Trimble Access. A site calibration is the process of adjusting projected coordinates, grid coordinates to fit local control on a particular site. A calibration calculates parameters for transforming global coordinates such as WGS84, which be lat long, latitude, longitude, into local grid coordinates, typically easting, northing, elevation. A local example for us here in Ireland would be WGS84 transformed ITM, Irish Transverse Mercator, or WGS84 transformed to match local control established by a total station on a particular site. A minimum of four control points are required to calculate the calibration. And for best results, the points, the control points should be evenly distributed around the job area as well as extended beyond the boundary or perimeter of the, of the site. In the first example there, you can see the, the site boundary or perimeter is represented by a white square. And you have four control points surrounding the site. And you have one control point there in the middle of the site. So that would be a typically good, good geometry for a site calibration. And then you have an example there of a road job more of a linear a linear geometry I suppose um, then you can see your control points evenly distributed either side of the roadway along the entire length of that road. For more training videos such as these um, check out our YouTube channel uh, Core Training and Support and also our website www.coreactgroup.com so the first step is to create a new job within Trimble Access. So the job's new job. Give your job a name. And for the template, rather than picking a coordinate system, select on the coordinate system tab and select no projection, no datum, and no geoid model. And select the coordinates to grid. The next step is to select or enter in your coordinates that you wish to calibrate to in this case I have a CSV file with five control points from our site. See the control points there listed S1 to S5. Now we can start our survey. In this case we're going to perform a, a VRS survey style. Waiting for information from the base. And now we can go to measure site calibration. So the grid point name can be selected from a list from that CSV file we've just attached. The grid point name is the, the point name of the existing control point that we're going to measure. The GNSS point name is the point that we're about to record at that same location. So to use this, we tap on the black arrow and select measure. When we're recording a point, I tend to, to use the same point name, for example, S1, with an abbreviation after it from GNSS. But it doesn't really matter what you call this. I'm recording these as a topo point. And you can choose to use horizontal and vertical, horizontal only, vertical only, depending on the results. I'll explain that a bit later. So you can see the first control point is added to the, to the list. Now we make our way to point number two and repeat that process. S2, GNSS, get our bubble level, measure the point. Use horizontal and vertical. Now you can see your second point is added to the list. Repeat the process for the rest of the points. So the next one is S3.
Observation stored. Note that when you have three points observed, you'll start to see a residual in the horizontal. So this is the difference between the point that you just observed and that original point that you're calibrating to. Once you introduce a four point, so S4 will be our next one, you should see residuals in both the horizontal and the vertical. Observation stored. And you can see results in both. Looking pretty good so far, maybe with the exception of S3 in the vertical. Um, so at this point, you can you can apply the calibration. You have enough. You you've met the minimum requirement. Um, but we'll add one more here just to be to be sure. observation stored okay so <clears throat> we have five points now in the slide calibration and you can see an overall horizontal and vertical and vertical residual for each individual point so you have the option here of going into each each point one by one and if there is a particularly high residual in the in the vertical or horizontal you can remove that from the calibration or for the, from the calculation and this should have an impact on the rest of the results. So for an example, let's make a change to S5 to the vertical. So if we tap on S5 and just use the horizontal, note that the other vertical residuals have reduced. We also have a series of tabs at the bottom. So if we tap on options, <coughs> certain amount of options you can fix in here like the, the horizontal scale and um, also the type of observation you do we now go into results you can check the results five control points your scale factor your horizontal and vertical residuals but once you're happy with the resection results you can just hit apply now you can see if you tap on each of the control points that you observed you have two observations you have the original which is s5 and you have the measure which is s5 gnss for that particular station after a site calibration has been, been applied if you go into jobs properties of job you can see the coordinate system is now set to local site So the next step would be to export the transformation or the calibration as a DC file. This DC file can be used then by any other engineers or surveyors on the site. So if you tap on the job name and export and select the Trimble DC file export. So this DC file contains all your parameters, which the site calibration was done. Another good tip after site calibration is to save your project as a template so you can use it again and again. So a template is your, your coordinate system template. So into settings, templates, new template, Give your template a name, call it Corex Site, and you're going to copy the calibration or copy the parameters from the last used job, which would be the job that you you previously opened. Pull P dot. 
and this will copy all your control parameters into that template so you can use that again and again when you create a new job. So if we select jobs, new job, we'll drop a name. Now you can see from the drop down list, we have a new template called Forex site. And this will contain all the, the parameters from that calibration. Another method is we can use the DC file. So if we create another new job, this time across the top, we select create from job XML or DC file. Give your job a name. File format, we select the Trimble DC 10.7 version, and then we just select the DC file that we just exported. That's another way of upgrading a new job using a site calibration template.